All right, so driver destination. So this is a feature that is actually globally launched. And so I'm gonna be focusing mostly on the work that we did during launch and post-launch, but I'll also briefly talk about some of the work that we did early in the product development lifecycle. So first of all, what is driver destinations? Driver destinations allows drivers to set a destination and then will match drivers with trips that are along their way. So to give an example of how this feature might work, suppose you have a driver who lives in Novato but wants to work in San Francisco because that's where the demand is. Um, so with this feature, um, she can now take trips that are on her way to and from San Francisco rather than driving to and from work with an empty car. There are a lot of use cases like this. And this is why this feature was one of the most requested features by drivers. So when we were building the product, there were two main data science-led initiatives. The first was designing the dispatching algorithm. So the work here involves specifying the logic around how we would match riders with drivers, specifying and setting the dispatch constraints, and then working with engineering to implement the algorithm. Secondly, we were responsible for determining which cities would be eligible to even get this feature. Um, so this feature really only makes sense in certain situations, and it was data science who helped determine which cities actually met those requirements. All right, so let's talk about going live. So launching this product, this was a huge feature for the driver team in 2016. Um, we initially did um, a beta in one city late last year, and then we went global shortly thereafter. Since every city is unique, we had to run an A-B test at the driver level in every market that we launched in. We did this because we wanted to understand how the feature might alter driver behavior and also understand whether there were any unintended use cases and abuse of the feature. During launch, we also built a number of interactive tools to help the team diagnose problems such as bad dispatch quality and also just help the team generally understand how drivers were using the feature. So the screenshot here on your right is from one of our dashboards, which shows where drivers are setting their destinations. Not surprisingly, in San Francisco, most drivers are setting their destinations to SFO and to downtown. Okay, so in addition to measuring the impact at a user level, we often need to understand the impact to a city as a whole. So with driver destinations, we've increased the number of drivers online, and this is really good. But we've also given drivers a means to choose the kinds of trips that they want. This could potentially introduce inefficiencies in our system. So with an A-B test, we're able to see that drivers are shifting their positions from low density areas to high density areas. That's what you're seeing here on the right. But what we don't know is what the impact is to ETAs. And this is really important for Uber. So we were able to answer this in a number of different ways one of which was to take a phased rollout approach, which means we carefully selected um, and grouped different cities together and then launched the feature in these groups at different times. And by doing this, we're able to then take a difference in difference approach in measuring the impact to our marketplace metrics. Once we had launched the feature in most markets, we started to focus more on improving the product. So we've already done extensive research in terms of understanding feature, understanding and usability. Um, and this has already directly led to product changes around education, UI improvements, and also playbooks for the city teams, which have led to about a 20% increase in usage of the feature. And that was driven by data science. Additionally, we're now working on optimizing our dispatching algorithm so we've just barely scratched the surface here. We started with experimentation because that's the most straightforward approach, but it's really not very efficient. So we're starting to explore different methods um, that are more advanced, like multi-arm bandit, simulation, or a dynamic programming approach to optimize this. And then for the future, we're now starting to explore different ways that we can leverage this technology that we've built to different use cases, such as commute. And this effectively restarts the product life cycle for us. So I hope that these examples have given you an idea of some of the things that we're building here at Uber and the role that data science plays in all of that. And now I'm going to be handing it over to Fran, who is a data science manager on the intelligent systems program.